everyone welcome to another video in this video I will tell you an important topic the topic is like how to convert the 2d images or 2d options to 3d images for example you see in the screen on the screen I am on a canvas app right the button apply loan the second button looks very gloomy right very simple but the first button looks very you know uh, 3d look right most of the you know uh, in these uh, days the mobile applications are having such type of uh, 3d looks now how can you convert the 2d images or 2d sections to a 3d look and feel right you cannot do it without uh, with adding a property there is no such property for rectangle here you see i have added a rectangle right but rectangle has there is uh, rectangle has no property to change the border radius or adding box shadow or no css addition is there right so the option is there we can add called as html text right so there is a component called as html text so let us try to convert this type of um, images this type of uh, division to a 3d division so just search html text and drag and drop when you use HTML text uh, component, this component can be used to add HTML coding or HTML code with HTML uh, tags and CSS styles in this HTML text property, right? So let me copy the style I have created for the other button so that I can explain you. So this is the division we have used. So I will click this HTML text component and paste my code right to create a division with uh, proper style you see how it is rendering a section with uh, a shadow right this is just a division you see here the html text division style i am using margin width i am giving something height given background color uh, you can choose any background color of your choice and here i have implemented box shadow right and border radius so this way you can add a add an html text component and use uh, css styles and html codes inside html text property of that component then you can uh, drag and drop any icon of your choice let me drag an icon let's say i want to drag this so i can place it here i can play some uh, i can add some text level right and let's say 3d button i want to mention right now this looks like slightly 3d right this one now you can change the color also if you want to change the color let me go to color picker and uh, color picker in the color picker i want to choose this color right let me copy this and I can go here to mention the background color you can choose RGBA or you can use the hexadecimal code so I want to display this color and the box shadow color I want to display the this one let's say let me copy this and I can use it here instead of uh, background color uh, the box shadow CCC I want to change this so you see how it look like right and you can change the uh, size of the box zero let's say i want to change to uh, six pixel then it will increase the size of the shadow and you can also change this so you can play around with the uh, pixels the um, box shadow right So this is how it, it works right now you can convert now we have converted this button this type of button to 3d button right now you can implement in your project like i have implemented in my first button right so you can copy the code here uh, and use it in your so now you can leverage all css commands for example i want to implement uh, i want to implement uh, gradient for example so go to here and search gradient CSS gradient uh, generator 
and you can go to generate the gradient color for your uh, project right so here it is generating gradient right so without writing any code you can generate your gradient then you can copy the css this is the css now i can copy this and add in my power fx so i can go here and add this one you see the gradient is displaying now right i can change the color to uh, make it more prominent now you can see how the gradient look like right the button look like uh, you know very fancy and uh, you know, more more elegant and more fancy rather than this uh, small uh, this uh, flat format uh, buttons right now you can go and create that let me change the first button to have this uh, gradient let me copy this let me copy the html text that is implemented in the last button and implement here and i can change the color of this to white so that it will display as a prominent let me delete this right now you see how it looks like guys right now you have full control over the css styling that you want to implement and now you see there is no restriction you can use any style uh, that is supported by your browser so thank you everyone watching this video i hope it will help you and you can design you know elegant uh, mobile applications using this type of css and html uh, text component thank you everyone watching for this video see you bye